Time to check out another PS2 classic, and seeing as how hopefully later this year we're getting the next Red Dead game, let's check out the original. I'm not talking Red Dead Redemption, no, this is where it all started, with 2004's Red Dead Revolver. I'm looking at a dead man. As we've come to expect from Rockstar, this game is another gritty, violent action game that plays out sort of like a movie, only this time around, it plays like an old spaghetti western. You've got all the cliches that you'd ever want. You've got saloon bar fights, train chases on the back of a horse, battles between US and Mexican armies. It all plays out like a silent movie. The story's simple and can be told pretty much without any of the dialogue. In fact, the main protagonist, Red, hardly says a thing throughout the game. By the end, you hardly know anything about him, which is kind of cool. He always remains a mystery, just like Clint Eastwood in the Dollars trilogy. But it's not all about Red, you also get to play as a handful of other characters too, each with their own unique missions and special moves. It's kind of like the campaign is broken up into little vignettes, allowing the game to cover the events of the story from all different sides, before finally bringing them all together for one last showdown. It helps make sure that the gameplay never goes stale. At one point it does feel like the game is about to turn into a sandbox game, when you get access to a main town hub. It made me think, perhaps this is where you're going to get your side quests or a series of minigames to pass the time, a lot like Cody Island in the Warriors game. But no, you come here five times, perhaps do a bit of shopping, but then immediately head out to start the next mission. It's linear, with 27 missions in total, which sounds a lot, but some of them do only last around the two minute mark. You're gonna blow up I find the controls of the game to be surprisingly good, especially when I compare it to the controls in Manhunt, which, as I said in my review of, I don't think have aged well at all. But here, they feel as good as any modern third-person action game. Except for the climbing, that... Yeah, that... sucked. Otherwise though, it feels arcadey. It's satisfying, running around blasting off cowboys' heads, slowing down time for accuracy. In fact, you probably kill more people in this game than in any other Rockstar game, which is ironic seeing as how this one's only rated a Peggy 16, rather than their usual 18. The graphics too are pretty good, especially with the PS4's 1080p uprendering. The only problem is with the character faces. These were some of the ugliest human beings I've ever seen. I'm sure the Wild West is a rough, hard life, but Jesus, they look weird. But I like them. They certainly get a few laughs. Plus, this surreal cartoony style fits in with the overall feel of the game, like with the over-the-top villains like little clowns, voodoo priests, a guy running around with a coffin on his back that turns into a gun. You think you can handle taking on a woman like me? You either drunk or crazy. The game did have some quirky moments to it, not technically bugs or glitches, just some weird things going on. Like a boss who acted like a bullet sponge for five minutes where you literally pumped hundreds of rounds into him, only to do a minuscule amount of damage. Or another boss who got stuck on the side of his own train. Oh well, at least it made things unpredictable. And let's not forget the showdown mode, the multiplayer aspect of the game. You can choose from a whole range of characters and duke it out in a variety of different settings. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there nostalgic for showdown mode. Anyone looking for a Red Dead fix to tidy them over until full should probably check this one out. It's not the best, but still, it's a lot of fun. And once again, thanks to Rockstar for bringing back another classic to the PS4. Fingers crossed more developers follow suit, so Capcom, please, bring us back Killer7. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching.